Hi everyone, Mary Ayers here from tapintoaction.com. And today we're going to do some building tapping. Okay, tapping is really wonderful for helping us get rid of things, right? That we don't want to have or feelings we don't like having or old events. It's wonderful for that, but it is also wonderful for building our belief systems too. And that's what we want to do, right? Real change is when we step into new beliefs and that changes who we are and how we show up in the world and what we manifest. So today we're going to do one of my favorite things, which is just taking affirmations and adding tapping to it. So if you are thinking to yourself, I don't know exactly what to tap on, go and find some affirmations that you really enjoy and just tap while you're reading them. That's what we're going to be doing today. I wish I could tell you this This is not uh, the affirmations we're going to be using for these. Abundance is not one of mine. It's somebody I had listened to, and I am apologize to that person. I cannot remember who it was, um, but I will claim that it is not. I am not the original author of that. And so we're going to just jump in. I want you to center yourself to begin with. Okay. Take a couple of deep breaths. Slow exhale. That's going to help relax your system. Just a slow exhale. And start to think about money. Start to think about it in your life and expanding your beliefs. While you do, just begin here at the karate chop. We're not going to do a setup statement, but we are going to just kind of get our system ready for the affirmations that we're going to be doing. All right. And you're just going to follow along with me. Now, we're going to be very deliberate in what we're saying. It's not just something we just say quickly going by. I want you to listen to the words, feel the words, because one of the things that come up when we are doing something that's kind of growth oriented like this, a belief we don't have yet, is that some, what we call a little tell and or yes, but um, an argument about it may show up. We love those. Okay. I want you to know when those show up, that gives us so much more clarity on where to target our work, um, what we want to tap on to be able to open those beliefs up, those constricted beliefs. We want to open them up to be able to allow more in. So pay attention to what might come up, right? And keep a little journal about this as you do this, you know, what, what kind of things are reacting in your life and that will give you something else to tap on. So we're just here, we're thinking about money. As you do, follow me. Large sums of money. Come to me. Easily. And quickly. in increasing amounts from multiple sources on a continuous basis that I get to keep. Large sums of money Come to me easily and quickly in increasing amounts from multiple sources on a continuing basis. that I get to keep. And this time as we do this round, really listen to those words. Large sums of money. Large sums of money. 
come to me. Me. Easily and quickly in increasing amounts from multiple sources. Sources I might e not even know about yet. on a continuous basis, over and over, again and again, never stopping, that I get to keep. Take a breath. Okay, so what did you notice in that? Did you find that there were some words that really kind of stuck for you? That really you got a little snagged on? Maybe it was quickly, or maybe it was easily, or maybe it was on a continuous basis. But it's going to show you where your beliefs are. And maybe those are areas that you would benefit from opening up. And maybe you can't see it. And maybe that's when working with somebody would be very, very helpful. All right. So, hey, feel free to reach out. Mary at tapintoaction.com. You would like to be able to talk about how we could work together to open up these money beliefs or find those hidden beliefs and what's getting in the way. All right. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a message below. Let me know what came up for you or even let me know what you would love to be tapping on. I'm happy to do that. A lot of my tapping comes from requests. So until next time, I hope you continue to do this and I hope you continue to find abundance flowing in your life and keep tapping.